I mean, what happened last year, kind of the evolution of their pitching staff, what happened in the bullpen, part of that starts with JT Realmuto. But realistically, when you look at what's going on this year and the, the changes in the rules, we're already seeing it in spring training. I mean, the stolen base has become a bigger part of the game. It's going to be a bigger part of the game. And in some of these throws, you can see there's a little bit of hesitation right here with Narvaez. You can see a little hesitation on the back end, not a great transfer. Those are the types of things you don't see from JT Realmuto. He is quick. He's got great feet. The hands, the, it it's all works. He's very athletic. Uh, when, when you see a guy like this throw, every, it's on the money every single time. He has to reach across his body, get himself set, do it with his legs, do it with his arm, everything. No Noah Syndergaard on the mound, nothing against Noah Syndergaard. I love Noah Syndergaard. This guy is typically a 1-4, 1-5 to a 1-7 to the plate. JT Real Muto is able to negate that difference for the, for the pitcher in throwing runners out. And then here, the athleticism. This isn't a planned pickoff, back pick. He kicks the ball, strike three, but he sees the guys off and is able to make the throw. There, obviously, they planned it. Those are the types of ways he can impact the baseball game from behind the plate, and it's going to be bigger than ever this year. We, we've never had a year, not since probably the 80s, when you were able or guys were running are going to be running at this clip, and it's going to be a huge part of the game. He's the best in the game. 1-8-2 last year, catcher pop time. Next closest is 1-8-9. It's really not close, and it's been that way for years.